Herbie first. I'm still not entirely sure. The Herbie is as inscrutable as always. So we've got the termites that have obviously built up their safety, or their, their sort of covering of dirt as in the way that termites do. And they're basically using it to shelter them as they harvest the outside layer of the bark of the silver cluster leaf. Now Herbie tells me that the ladies in the community eat this covering, this outside covering to the point that both Sebastian and myself put some in our mouths. Now I'm not, I'm, I, <laughs> Herbie swears blind he's telling the truth. <laughs> Is it true, Herbs? Yes. It wasn't just to get us to put something sandy in our mouths. No, they do. They do. It's revolting. It tastes like sand. It's like eating beach sand. Sure. No. <laughs> no, this is mental. Yuck. But it tastes, it's like, I promise you, it's like eating sand. <laughs> mm. Oh, is that what it's for? Ugh. Apparently it's good for your digestive system. I think I'd take a stomach bug over that. How much do you need to eat? They collect them in big buckets. So Herbie says they collect them in big buckets. Well, there you go. I learned the hard way. The hard way. Something new today. My mouth's all sandy and crunchy and <laughs> horrible. No, I swear I'd take the stomach bug. <laughs> Herbie just takes it so stoically. Herbie's not bothered at all. Blech. Yuck. <laughs> oh man, they're so crunchy. I wonder what makes it different. What aspect of sticky termite glue makes it somehow better for your digestive system? There might be something in it, you know. I'm laughing at it. But who knows? And certainly, I mean, we know a lot of animals eat dirt. A lot of animals practice geophagy. I, for one, would sooner take an Imodium and a vitamin tablet. <laughs> I, I'm not sold <laughs> on the whole eating the termite sand off the silver cluster leaf. I, I've taken aboard many of Herbie's suggestions, but that one, Herbie, no. No. I'm not buying that one. Ever. I can't believe they collected in buckets. Anyway, 